Let's review the fundamentals of ones and IP with questions and answers part two. Question read, a packet travels from Cisco skills PC2 to Cisco skills PC1. How many different times the packets get de-encapsulated by the routers when it reaches Cisco skills PC1. So the simple rule is that the packets get de-encapsulated when it go from the Y into the router. So we can count this is one time and this is two times. So the answer is two. You can find the detailed explanation in the video network layer routing logics. The question read, the man pings the IP 192.168.0.101 from his PC, assuming the cache is empty. What of the following steps happen next to complete the app process of the PC? App send a broadcast frame which is received by all the computers in the network except the PC. All the computers respond with unicast app reply frames to the app request frame from the PC. App send unicast frame only to the laptop. Only the laptop responses with a unicast app reply frame to the app request frame from the PC. We know that the app request message is a broadcast frame and only the computer that has the IP address specified in the app request message will respond with the unicast app reply frame back to the computer that sent the app request message. So the answers for this question are a and D. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. Address Resolution Protocol The question read, the figure shows a Cisco HDLC framing. What is a missing field and what is it used for? It is a type field. It is a checksum field. It is used to identify the integrity of the frame. It is used to identify what has been encapsulated within that frame. As we know, Cisco HDLC frame has an additional field, which is the type field, and it is used to identify what has been encapsulated within that frame. So the answer for this question are A and D. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. Lee slides as a one technology. The question read, what happens at router R1 when PC1 sends an IP packet to server 1? R1 will encapsulate the IP packet into a new Ethernet header and trailer and forward it to R2. R1 will encapsulate the IP packet into a new HDLC header and trailer and forward it to R2. R1 will discuss Ethernet header and trailer from the data link frame coming from PC1 to get the IP packet. R1 will consider data link frame coming from PC1 as a new packet. So in order to send an IP packet to server 1, PC1 have to encapsulate the IP packet into a new Ethernet frame and send it to R1. Upon receiving the Ethernet frame coming from PC1, R1 have to discuss the Ethernet header and trailer to get the IP packet. Because this link is Ethernet 1, so R1 will have to encapsulate the IP packet into a new Ethernet header and trailer and send it to R2. 
Therefore, the answer for this question are A and C. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. Ethernet as a one technology. The question read In TCP IP model, which layer does a list line provide? Application layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer, physical layer. As you know, list line is a physical one link, so it provides physical layer. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. List lines as a one technology. The question read, which statements below are true about DNS service? Find layer 3 IP address from a fully qualified domain hostname. Find layer 2 MAC address from a known NetBIOS hostname. The naming information is stored on a server. The naming information is provided by each host via request reply message. As we know, DNS is used to translate a fully qualified domain hostname into an IP address. And in order to do that, the naming information of the IP and the fully qualified domain hostname is stored on a server, which is DNS server. So the answers for this question are A and C. You can find the detailed explanation in the video. Domain name systems. The question read, the FCS field in an HDLC frame is used to identify sequence number of the frame. Signal the receiving device for a new coming frame. The integrity of the frame. Signal the sending device that the frame has been received. As we know, the frame check sequence field is used to identify the integrity of the frame. So the answers for this question is C. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Please slice as a one technologies.